No, it's actually like a beast of a general from Russia named uh, Alexander Suvorov. I hope I said that correctly. I think it's pronounced I, Suvorov, yes. Yeah. Um, he popped up on like the top generals of Russia and like of overall. Like mm -hmm. this, this dude did not lose a single battle in like his whole military career. Um, and I think he was like, I don't know how long military, maybe like 50 years, but the fool was like 70 years old when he mm. died. Um, but he took part in military campaigns that went all across that time frame of his entire life. And it was like the Polish uprising, wars against the Ottoman Empire, um, and even into revolutionary France. Um, he died in 1800. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah. Okay. So, so he's 70, I mean, he's 70, 70 years 70. old. So I, I'm pretty sure he's in the military from around fighting age, which is like 18 to 20. So it's probably like a 50 year run. Um, but like he was able to take things that were considered untakeable. Like there was a Turkish fortress that he just went in and like bulldozed. I um, heard about, yeah, I, I heard about that where he like basically like, went like he was doing the like impossible. Just, yeah. Straight up. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, he was smashing French forces and, um, I know where you're going with this one. Uh, but like, uh, there was also, I'm, I'm literally reading the note here and I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong. It says, uh, he took the French forces who were superior to his own in the battle of Trebia. <laughs> Tre Tre oh, no. Trebia. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but he was able to do this and a lot of people looked up to him because he had this, uh, like eye for judgment where he would see something and be like, I'm going to attack quick at this point on the weak, like the weak parts. Mm. Um, and he would strike rapidly unexpected. And at the time there were other generals of other nations, uh, Napoleon being one of them who expressed admiration for him and was like, Oh, he's got the heart, but not the mind of a great commander. And unfortunately they never met on the battlefield. So they weren't able to like see who was better and like write the check. Um, right. Right. But this dude, like, if you just look at his military career, it's like battle after battle after battle after battle, and he just wrecks people. Um, so he's my my good one. Yes. Um, yeah. I I I I don't know. Ironically, I don't know a lot about Suvorov. Um, I believe he fought like they say battles, but he fought like seventy plus battles. Yeah, and he won every single one. But like sometimes. It's not even a full-on battle. It's probably just like a few thousands of people like lined up. It's an engagement of some sort, and then like okay, or it's like he might have a contingent of the main battle force, and it's like okay, they win. Okay, so it's not yeah. a full-on, maybe a full-on battle, but he's it's attributed like, for yeah. like he's attributed for like it's not 70, seventy plus wars. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right. So, yeah, <laughs> seventy different individual battles, and I think the Turkish thing I was trying to say was. It was something about like a fortress, and he had to take he the only way he could take it was like head on. Mm. And he like with the soldiers went into the water and they just like they just went straight up into the, the front of the fortress and they somehow took it. And it's uh yeah, pretty unbelievable. And, yeah, that's um, I know like obviously history is the world. And I like when I saw this guy's name pop up, I thought, you know, I've never once really looked into like the history of like Russia, like the empire. And then I started doing a little bit of things and it's like, there is some crazy good stuff there. So mm. like, yeah, this one caught my eye. Yeah. Um, the, yeah. Russian history is a very, very long one with a lot of um, famous, well-known generals. And yeah, ironically, Russia was always known to be very, very, very backwards um, up till the 1700s when um, they were ruled by Peter the Great and basically they had to like drastically modernize. So, yeah, I mean, I've always heard of Suvorov and I'm just like, oh, okay, like, wow, he's that, he's um, that great. And you probably don't know what this is, but like the person I was, when I hear Suvorov, I get confused with a guy named Kuduzov. Probably never heard nope. of him. He fought against Napoleon. And... Oh, <laughs> Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like Kudazov, and it's like all these like hmm. Zov, Zov, and I'm like, oh, what? Like all these OV sound names, and um, but yeah, uh, Suvorov is considered very great. And the funny thing was, while mentioning that video I made about generals that never lost a battle, a ton of people are like, where's Kud uh, Where's Suvorov? 
where's Suvorov? And I'm like, all right, just chill out. Like it's it's not the whole list, right? Um, hmm. but yeah, he's gonna be in my next video. Uh, so oh, people that are interested. Yeah, I'm gonna put him in the video because he's so popular. Okay, yeah.